Hello, Ashley Nance here with Revoice, and I have with me Nathan Hirsch of Outsource. And he's going to um, share with us the awesomeness that can ensue when you outsource what you don't love to people who love it, so you can do more of what you love to do. I'll just let you take it from here. You're the man, so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I appreciate you having me. It's funny. I started off as a 20-year-old entrepreneur. Um, I, I went to college, but I didn't want to get a real job. So I was like studying and still getting good grades because I was paying for college, but I was starting this Amazon business on the side. And this Amazon business started to grow. And I found myself doing a lot of these tasks that I hated doing. Like being an entrepreneur was really exciting. Starting this business, getting sales doing bookkeeping, responding to customer service, not as exciting. So I started to hire college kids to help me do some of this work. And I quickly realized that college kids were pretty unreliable. I wasn't their main focus. And a buddy of mine ta told me about the VA world, the Upworks, the Fibers. Yeah. And, and so I hired my first VA and that came with a whole nother learning curve. I mean, people weren't communicating, they weren't responding, they were disappearing. Some of them were good, some of them were bad. And, and I didn't really have a, a good interview or vetting process. I didn't have a way to run meetings or keep them accountable. I didn't have a, a way to fire people. I mean, it was all kind of right. figuring out as you go. And I think a, a lot of entrepreneurs fall into that. So two things really happened off of that. One, I, I didn't really like the Upworks and the Fibers of the world. So I built my own marketplace called FreeUp that pre-vets, VAs, freelancers, and matches them up, up quickly. And we scaled that business using virtual assistants, no office, no US employees, <laughs> from a $5,000 investment to eight figures in four years. And we were acquired at the end of last year, which was kind of cool. And Not too shabby. <laughs> <laughs> hey, thank you. And then people started reaching out because yes, you can get really good VAs, but if you don't have the systems and process in your business, that's only going to get you so far. So we created Outsource School to really make it simple for the entrepreneur where we teach you the fundamentals by giving you our interview, onboarding, training, and managing process. Then we give you all these SOPs ready to go to get you out of the day-to-day -day operations, out of the stuff you shouldn't be doing, like your inbox, bookkeeping, customer service. Then the fun begins and we give you all of our marketing SOPs, like getting on podcasts and partnerships and backlinks and stuff like that. And then we give you a software to build your own SOPs because there's going to be systems and processes that are specific to your business that we can't teach you that you need to build yourself. So we have a cool software called simply SOP and you can buy all those things separately depending on what you want. Or we have a, a membership where you get access to all of them unlimited. So that's kind of my short story of, of how I went from um, selling on Amazon to starting free up to now working on outsource school. That's awesome. Yeah. I know a lot of people who just, the difference between wild success and trudging along was getting VAs on board and to do the stuff that you're avoiding that they love to do. Absolutely. I mean, during last year of free up freelancers were billing me like 2000 hours a week or VAs were billing me 2000 hours a week. I couldn't work 2000 hours a week if I wanted to. Right? So <laughs> it's a, that's a lot of manpower, a lot of one power going into my business at, at a very affordable rate. Right. And that's, that's valuable too, because one thing I love about free up from the user side is that you can choose your tier based on where you are. And so you can move up. So on the VA side, it's fair and it's vetted and they're actually very rigorous. It's a rigorous interview process to even get in there. And yeah. then from outsource school, once you are ready to go, you know, just where to go and you can get people you can afford and the quality that you want all right there. Yeah. And we have a great relationship with the new owners at free app and we have a lot of like small perks and I don't have to go through all of them, but like we give all of our new members a $50 credit to free nice. app. Like you, you can take our systems and processes and go hire from anywhere. But if you want to use sure. free app, we give you a little bit to, to get started. Nice. How oh, cool. Well, great. Um, what, advice would you give to somebody who just started? How do they know that they're ready for their first VA? What would you say? So the first thing I would do is figure out what you can actually afford. And we have this cool VA calculator on the outdoor school site. You can do the math yourself, but figure out the average VA costs five to seven bucks an hour, right. figure out how much money you actually make each month net, 
And then how aggressive or how conservative you want to be. Do you want to put as much money as possible into the business? Maybe you're investing 50% of your profits. Maybe you're, we're all in a different place in our life and our business. Maybe it's 10%. Right. Personally, I tend to be in that 25%, but then you can figure out, hey, and our VA calculator does this for you. Hey, you can afford two full-time VAs or you can afford right. one VA five hours a week. And mm-hmm. that's totally okay. My, my first VA hire was five hours a month, not even five hours a week, five hours <laughs> a month. So right. you can start small, but those are the stepping stones that help you scale your business because- not only do you learn a lot, but it becomes more addicting. You're like, man, I don't have to do every little thing. I can start <laughs> passing it off my plate. And man, they're doing an even better job than I could. I mean, take bookkeeping, for example. I'm not a very good bookkeeper. Like, I, Even if I did it, it probably just has to get redone anyway. And there's so many things in your business that someone else, when they're focused on it, when it's their job, can do at a higher level than you. And whether it's spending more time with your family or spending more time to, to scale your business, you've got to find a way to get that five to 10 hours a week back to start. Mm-hmm. That's really the key. Very good. Yeah. And that five to 10 hours, you can do amazing things with that. Yeah. Um, okay. That's all the questions that I have. What else did you want to share with <coughs> entrepreneurs? Yeah. So there's a few things for accelerating your business. And this goes if you want to be a VA or freelancer. This goes if you're a business owner. One of my favorite things is going on podcasts. And when I say podcasts, that can also include like Facebook Lives like this or or webinars. But I mean, if you're not going on a podcast a week, you're really missing out. There's so many podcasts out there and and we teach a, a process for getting on them. I go on one podcast every single day, five days a week, and I'm I'm booked out till September. And <laughs> I have a VA that does all my research, but the cool thing about podcasts is it's great for getting in front of thousands of people at once instead of just having lots of one-on-one conversations. It's good for building a relationship like you and I have built a relationship over the years. It's good for SEO and backlinks. A lot of people don't think about that. I mean, if you Google my name or you Google Outsource School, like Outsource School, we just started at the beginning of this year and, and already we're a 29 out of 100 when it comes to SEO score. And a lot of that's because of all these podcasts. And then lastly, it kind of has a snowballing effect where being on podcast leads to bigger podcasts, guest speaking opportunities, whatever it is. So right. if, if, if I had to start anywhere like marketing my business and you can still run ads, you can still do your one-on-one phone calls, but consistently get on podcasts, whether it's one a week, two a month, whatever it is, start small. And we have a cool course called the podcast outreach formula, but figure out a way to get on podcasts early and consistency and consistently. And you're going to look back in a year and be really happy that you did. Wow. That's awesome. I'm going to jump on that right now. I think that's next step for me. (laughs) I appreciate that. Yeah, no problem. Well, awesome. Um, as we wrap up, I just want to super thank you for being here. And um, I believe you had something you wanted to share with, for Outdoor School. Yeah, so two things. I mean, one, check out Outdoor School. And if anyone wants to schedule a call with me, you can do it right on the website or connect with me on social media, Nathan Hirsch. Um, but yeah, if you use coupon Revoice, um, it gets you 35% off an Outdoor School membership. So $9.97 a year is the normal membership price. That includes all of our courses, all of our playbooks, including the podcast outreach formula that I told you about. It includes free access to our software, a bunch of other bonuses like that free up credit. And you're going to get 35% off if you buy in the next 48 hours using coupon code REVOICE. That is awesome. Thank you so much for that. I, I know our viewers are going to appreciate that too. Um, thank you so much for, for being here, spending this time and, and sharing the coupon code and all this great advice. I'm really glad that we got to connect. (laughs) Same here. Thanks.